Good morning, it's 558 in Massachusetts. A man is in custody this morning accused of stabbing four girls in a movie theater near Boston. Police say the man entered the theater without a ticket, attacked the girls and left. All of them survived. Police say the man may be behind a second stabbing attack at a near nearby McDonald's. A small plane with two people on board had to make an emergency landing in Sydney, Australia after losing power. You'll see it flying low over homes and then the plane barely dodges the roof of an airport building. Luckily, nobody got hurt. The Boston Celtics are heading back to the NBA Finals for the second time in three years. They'll play the winner of the Dallas-Minnesota series. The finals start Thursday, June 6th, right here on WISN 12. It's another impact day, Lindsay. A literal rinse and repeat from yesterday. Basically, we're going to see you know a pleasant start to the day, and then we get these increase of scattered showers and thunderstorms. 12 News This Morning continues right now. Leading the way with important local coverage. WISN 12 News This Morning starts right now. Breaking as we come on the air, a deadly shooting in Milwaukee's River West neighborhood. New details from police about the victim and the person in custody. Hours from now, Milwaukee Public Schools budget battle. I'm Madison Moore with the meeting tonight on the $1.5 billion budget plan that cuts hundreds of jobs and when the board will hold its final vote. Closing arguments begin in the trial involving former President Donald Trump. I'm Amy Liu in Washington with what those final pitches will say today. New this morning, Kongacker Rescue. Who else is in the water? Is everybody able to get out? The dramatic video showing two women pulled from the fast-moving current. Plus, Mike Tyson medical issue. His health scare mid-flight, six weeks from his upcoming fight. Hot dads on the big screen. A sneak peek at the featured films just in time for Father's Day in Flick Picks with Milwaukee Film. And Brewers fans, welcome Craig Council back to American Family Field. It's Tuesday, May 28th. 12 News This Morning starts right now. First at six, your weather right now, and yet another impact day. Lindsay, we're watching for more storms today. Right, these storms are going to pop up again in the afternoon, rinse and repeat basically from yesterday. So, you know, hours to be on guard, I would say this is going to be between about three and eight o'clock today. Some of these storms, if we get a little sun, they could just be a little bit feisty, and I say that when I'm not expecting severe weather. At this point, you might get some lightning, some gusty winds, and even some small hail. The good news is, tomorrow and Thursday and Friday, we do have the return of sunshine in the forecast and dry conditions. You don't have to be glued to your phone and watch the radar all day, like I do. It will be pleasant, but so far we are starting off the day with some nice sunshine. We actually, if we continue to hang on to that sun, like I said, some of those storms later on could be a little bit more feisty with those hazards I mentioned. Winds are going to be out of the north and west today, 10 to 15 miles an hour, and you can see the radar right now is dry. We had that first batch roll through early this morning. This is the next batch that is on the way. I'll be tracking this one just ahead in Weather Watch 12, but first, let's check in with Matt Salemi in News Chopper 12 over I-94. Yep, we're looking out at I-94, and right now we're going to zoom in here around the area around 35th Street. You can see you're going to need the sunglasses this morning. It's already starting to shine as you make your way through the curve there. But otherwise, things are moving along nicely. We have one incident on the system, and that is a crash, and it's on 43, the old Rock Freeway northbound, just past Layton as you're making your way from Waukesha into Milwaukee County. Right now, that's the only incident, and it's not causing much of a backup at this point, so I'll continue to keep an eye on it. I'll let you know if any problems pop up. Matt, thank you. At a 602 to some breaking news this morning, an urgent search is underway for a missing teenager and her baby in Milwaukee. If you can, please take a look at your screen. This is a photo of 16-year-old Camilla Stewart. Please say someone last saw Stewart and her eight-month-old son, Kyrie, yesterday afternoon near 65th and Florist in Milwaukee. Stewart was wearing a black jacket, black shirt, black pants with red stripes, and black Crocs. Police did not provide a picture of Kyrie. If you have any information on where they could be, you should contact police right away. Also breaking this morning, <laughs> all right, guys, so we do have the potential of some of those pop up thunderstorms yet again today. We had that happen yesterday where it was fine for a while. We had some sunshine. It was a pleasant afternoon and then boom, you had those, you know, pop up showers turned into some thunderstorms. You might get some gusty winds and some small hail, but overall severe weather not expected with this. This will likely last from about three to eight o'clock. After that, we finally, finally dry out. <laughs> 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we are slowly warming up. I know we get that little dip there Wednesday, but then as we go into early next week, it's somehow June and we'll be near 80 degrees. And June does look like it's starting off pretty hot. Yeah, get ready for the heat. Lindsay, thank you. And thank you all for joining us on this Tuesday. We're back every 25 minutes with updates on news, weather, and traffic. GMA is up next. America, dangerous storms and a holiday travel nightmare for millions. Memorial Day washout. So